Good morning students. This is Dr. G.B. Ashashi Rao, Associate Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In this session, I would like to explain how to solve problem of a boosted pin type coupling. So already we have uh, studied the design procedure of a boosted pin type of flexible coupling in previous session. So in this uh, uh, session, so I will explain how to solve the problem of a boosted pin type uh, flexible coupling. See, so this is the uh, diagram of a bushy pin type of flexible coupling. Here uh, two uh, shafts are connected with the alpha of uh, bolts and knots and additionally the brass bush added here. For flexibility. So that's why this type of uh, bushy pin type coupling allows uh, uh, some misalignments. Here, uh, the dimensions of the bush pin type coupling shown in this uh, figure. All these dimensions you should calculate. So, according to the given parameters, given data. You know the sharp diameter, the sm small d. So, how to calculate the sharp diameter? We studied in the in sharp uh, design uh, session. So, small d calculate. First thing is you should uh, calculate, need to calculate the shaft diameter. All remaining dimensions, all the uh, diamond, all uh, proportions of uh, planes and uh, hub uh, are depends upon the key and depends upon the, the shaft diameter only. So, that's why first you calculate the uh, diameter of the shaft. How to calculate the diameter of the shaft? by using torsion equation and then the diameter of the hub diameter of the hub d is equal to 2d two times of the sharp diameter and then the pcd p circle diameter of the diameter the p circle diameter of the player pin d1 and bush diameter and pin diameter the pin uh, you can say bolt and uh, key dimensions so you may assume square key so find out uh, key dimensions and uh, find out length of the key you can take uh, this length of the planes 1.5 times of D. So, you can take a rubber bush thickness 6 mm. Clear? So, here shown all dimensions of a you know, bush pin type uh, coupling. So, D2 the outer diameter of the planes. Now, how to calculate uh, we will see in coming up slides. So, take this example design a bush pin type flexible coupling. The given type of coupling is flexible coupling. To connect a pump shaft to a motor shaft transmitting 32 kilowatts at 960 rpm. The given power is 32 kilowatts. The purpose is connect a pump shaft to a motor shaft at 960 rpm. The overall torque is 20% more than the mean torque. The given condition, torque is 20% of the more than the mean torque. So, T max is equal to, T max is equal to 20%, so 120, so 1.2 1 times of T mean. So, first you calculate uh, T maximum, sorry, to T mean. After that, you will get uh, T max. 
the material properties are uh, given one is uh, the allowable shear and crushing stress for shaft material and key material is 40 and 80 mega pascal and the allowable shear stress for cast iron is uh, 15 mega pascal allowable shear and the crushing stress for the shaft material and the key material 40 and uh, 80 the allowable shear stress for cast iron is uh, 15 mega pascal so nothing but plain material and the allowable bearing pressure for rubber bush that is pb so given a point at uh, newton per mm square and the material of the pin is same as that of uh, shaft and key the material is same as a uh, shaft and key the pin material what is the shaft material steel and key also steel so first of all uh, note on the given data power 32 mega power kilowatts you can convert into watts and the speed 960 rpm and t max 1.2 times of t mean so that is 20 percent uh, uh, the overall torque is the maximum torque is 20 percent of the mean torque the given condition is uh, like that and the shear stress of the shaft and the key is 40 and shear stress, uh, crushing stress for the key shaft material and uh, key is 80 and uh, crushing stress, uh, shear stress for the planes is uh, 15 mega pascal cast iron plates and bearing pressure is 0.8 uh, Newton per mm square. The pushed pin flexible coupling is designed as uh, discussed in the coming slides. So first one, first step is design for pins and a rubber bush. T max 5 by 16 into 20 dq. So why? Because first you need to calculate diameter of the shaft. So then only you will get a diameter of the hub and diameter for pin. So first calculate D. So D obtained 40, 36.5. You can say 40 mm as per uh, standard diameters. Now calculate the T mean. T mean is uh, 60 P by 2 pi n. P already given. 32 into 10 Q, so 32 megawatts you can convert into, uh, sorry, to kilowatts you can convert into watts, so you will get 318.3 uh, uh, Newton meter. So now uh, calculate the T max 1.5, 1.2 times of 40 mean. The diameter of the board for 40 mm shaft are uh, three the number of balls sorry the number of balls are you can take uh, according to the um, the diameter of the shaft so now in order to allow for the bending stress uh, induced due to the compressibility of the rubber of the rubber bush so the diameter of the pin may be taken as 20 mm the length of pin of uh, least diameter, the length of pin is least diameter is 20 mm is uh, threaded and uh, secured in the right hand coupling now. Two also are there, one is left hand uh, planes and uh, right hand. So you can take uh, length of the pin is uh, uh, pin of uh, least diameter is 20 mm. So that the overall diameter of the rubber bush you can calculate the rubber bush diameter d2 as shown in the figure you will get uh, 40 mm similarly the diameter of the pitch circle of the pits capital d1 is equal to 2d plus d2 plus uh, 2 multiplied with 6 you will get 132 mm 
the diameter of the pitch circle of the pins. So already shown in figure. So we will show you. So here D2 and uh, pitch circle D1. So rubber boost thickness is 6 mm and uh, brass boost here uh, 2 mm thickness shown. So you should add these thicknesses uh, by calculating the diameter of the overall diameter of the rubber bush. Let L length of the bush in the planes. We know that the bearing load acting on each pin. So how to calculate the bending of the bearing load? Already we have learned in uh, theory, theory part. Bearing pressure multiplied with uh, bearing area. Here bearing area is D2 into L. So that uh, you can, uh, you will get the bearing load acting on uh, each pin. In terms of L. You don't know L, you have to calculate L. The length of the bush in the pl planes. So how much uh, bush inserted, uh, in the how much portion covered. Uh, in the plane uh, surface, with the plane surface. The maximum torque transmitted by the coupling, that is T max, is equal to the bearing load multiplied with the number of pins, multiplied with the uh, radius of the, uh, the, the pitch circle, the PCD, and uh, you will get in terms of so here, here substitute the W 32L into 6, here 6 uh, pins are there and 132 by 2, you will get in terms of uh, L. So find out here L, so you will get 32 mm L. If you know the L, immediately you can calculate uh, the bearing load. So bearing load, uh, if you know the bearing load, then you can calculate direct stress due to the pure torsion. So first to calculate uh, length and then uh, W, the bearing load acting on the each pin and then uh, the direct uh, shear stress. Shear stress is equal to W by 5 by 4 into D1 square. So here yeah, you will get the shear stress is 3.26 Newton per mm square. Next, uh, calculate the bending moment. Assumed as a uh, uh, pin cantilever beam as shown in figure with uh, UDL, uniform uh, distribution load. So, calculate the bending moment. And then calculate the polar moment of inertia. 5 by 32 into T1 cube. So here calculated T1 is 20. Now you can calculate uh, the bending stress. Bending stress is equal to moment, uh, bending moment upon polar moment of inertia. So here Z is uh, I by Y. So you can write uh, sigma and the bending stress is equal to MY by I also. So now maximum principal stress here uh, you, you must check for maximum principal stress and uh, check for shear stress. So the maximum principal stress according to the uh, maximum or normal stress theory that is Rankine's theory the empirical relation is half into sigma plus uh, square root of sigma square plus 4 tau square sigma the bending stress already calculated the shear stress given in our problem that is 3.26 uh, calculated shear so substitute those values in this empirical relation, you will get a maximum principal stress. This is a induced a, a maximum principal stress. You must check for a design uh, for safe condition.
Similarly, maximum shear stress according to the shear stress, maximum shear stress theory, guest theory, use this uh, empirical relation of into square root of sigma square plus uh, 4 tau square. So, substitute those values, whatever you calculated in the previous uh, step, sigma and uh, tau, you will get uh, maximum shear stress. So, check these values with uh, allowable uh, stress values. Since the maximum principal stress and the maximum shear stress values are within the limits, Therefore, the design is safe. So, how can you say within the limits? You should check with the given values, the maximum shear stress value and maximum normal stress value in your problem. So, what is the shear stress value and uh, the allowable shear stress? Allowable uh, shear stress 15 megapascal and here given uh, 15 and 40. So, here, see the normal stress uh, the below the 40, so given a uh, value is 40, e this value is less than the 40 and uh, similarly this is uh, 15, this uh, shear stress also less than the uh, allowable uh, value, allowable uh, uh, permissible value. So that's why your above design is uh, say, you can say the whatever you calculated values are in safe condition. So, you will get a uh, safe design. So, that's why here uh, in this step you must check for shear and uh, normal stress. Next one, uh, design for hub. Here uh, already you know how to calculate uh, design for hub, the outer diameter of the hub, calculate the diameter of the shaft and the length of the hub you can take as 1.5 times of D. Now check the induced shear stress for the hub material. So that is the given material is cast iron. And uh, consider here hub as a hollow shaft. Clear the maximum torque transmitted. Find out. Clear. So here uh, the shear stress is 4.05. Since the induced shear stress for the hub material, the cast iron is less than the permissible value. So, the shear stress value is 15 mega Pascal. Therefore, the design is safe. Next, design for key. The width of the key and uh, thickness of the key. Here, uh, you can choose the square, uh, square key. And the length of the key, you can take a, take, a, take an equal to the length of the hub. Clear. The L is equal to 1.5 times of D. Now check the induced stress in the key and considering the shear stress crushing. Same as uh, of the planes coupling. So the maximum torque transmitted. So considering the key in the crushing, the maximum torque transmitted, how much a crushing area here? This is a crushing area. In case of uh, shear, L into W, the shear area. So, you will get your uh, crushing stress 45.48 mega Pascal. Clear? So, this value is uh, less than the given uh, allowable uh, value that is uh, uh, which is um, the 50 mega Pascal. So, that the about design is uh, safe. So, so, like this, uh, how to uh, calculate uh, the dimensions of a bush pin type flexible coupling. So, the design of hub and the design of key and design of planes up to planes uh, the same as uh, the planes coupling procedure. But the only thing is here, here how to calculate the diameter of the pin, pin, pin and bush uh, dimensions and also check for uh, uh, the bending. Clear? So, so, we have to solve uh, by using this uh, the procedure of a bush pin type flexible coupling. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.